What's going on guys and welcome back to Foundry. Hopefully having a good morning, afternoon and evening and welcome to the third installment of our little Foundry series we've got going where in the first episode we was working on just getting the ore into smelters just to make the basic plates and rods and all that kind of good stuff. In the second episode we started working on getting conveyor belts being automated, um, foundations automated, then getting a wire and then that proceeds into being made into uh, electronic components but then we also got the, uh, the foundations and the conveyor belts and worked out that they are required for science pack twos which then work the way into the science uh, lab here as, as well as the blue ones where we can then start researching and automating blue and red science as you can tell right now we are currently researching conveyor belts mark two uh, because one we're going to need them and two we're going to need faster belts eventually um so we've got this kind of going over here and as you can probably tell already we have got a new little building here because that wasn't here in the last episode but if you remember me stating we did just recently unlock steel uh, and we've got steel in here now we've got also xenoferrite ignium or blend and that needs to be done in the crusher which we have right here but as you can tell i've already got one built right like this so basically this allows two items to go into which is the xenoferrite blend and the ignium uh, sorry the xenoferrite rubble and the ignium rubble which will then get turned into xenoferrite ignium or blend at 20 per minute but if you notice the xenoferrite does require 80 where the ignium does require 40 and we we already know that mark one belts hold a maximum of 160 items per minute and the uh, ignium does require 40 so we can either put down two crushers or we can put down four crushers and then upgrade the xenoferrite to bring in a 320 on the belts rather than the 160 where obviously only two will be able to get done so whilst i was um off the recording i quickly built this because you guys don't need to see me put foundations down and all that kind of stuff uh like this because it'd be a little bit boring so i kind of like popped it in for you guys for the start of this episode but you might have noticed i've created a little bit of railings and just a little bit of a walkway towards this general location but i do want to just give like you know give an apology out real quick because the last couple of days you might not have noticed that i've been live streaming uh, and if you're not in the discord you won't know but on sunday unfortunately i stumbled out my walk-in wardrobe and i went towards my studio where i fell into the doorway and i actually smacked my left shoulder against the door frame uh, of, of my studio room and uh i dislocated my shoulder but luckily enough it popped back in but i was getting extreme pain going down my arm and to find out eventually after some scans that i trapped a nerve so they had to fix it and do all that kind of stuff um so i just want to give you a bit of an update of why there might not have been any live streams on monday and tuesday this week uh, i'm saying that but it's tuesday today um but i am doing well i'm doing fine yeah it's a little bit pain it's you know it's at the end of the day it's it's nothing but i'm doing my best to kind of recover it quickly so i can kind of get back into doing the stuff hence the reason you might not have seen any vods going up on the vod channel where all of my live stream gets posted in regards to the progression of the games we play but this is youtube we are focused on videos over here and that is eventually this is exactly what we're doing right now so what we what i want to do is as you can tell i've got the ignium ore blend coming around here and we have the xenoferrite coming this way as well i've also doubled the production of the whole um, xenoferrite line here if we did originally have just the four going that way but i've now doubled this up here and we have the xenoferrite coming along here so we know this is a 160 line this is a 160 line we're currently researching conveyor belt marks too which is currently 24 percent as you can see but what we want to do is we want to put down four crushes so we're going to put one down let's say one here one here one here and one here and then on the input side we're going to put that i'm falling off we're going to put down a xenoferrite inputs 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 and inputs and then we're going to get the long inserters to grab the xenoferrite from the four belts so we're going to put one two three four they are now all going into here which it wouldn't surprise me if eventually we put that in there also if we press v we can see controls and equals equals copy targets with settings or shift right mouse so if i shift right mouse 
Bloody bling blada blosh. What did I just say right then? Bladder bling blad. Okay, ignore me. I'm on medication. All right. And then shift left mouse button. It's then going to copy the recipes over to these machines. But one thing I need to start using is pressing my equals key to actually just copy and paste stuff instead of just going in here and grabbing it. Yes, I've got hot boys. I'm not a big hot boy lover. If you guys have seen my satisfactory series, I don't really use hot boys. I don't know why. It, it's just it's just a force of habit um, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I obviously, unfortunately, I don't have a mouse with like you know um, MMO buttons on the side. I've got an FPS mouse. So if I had the 12 buttons on my thumb, that would make it easier. And that was something I did have early satisfactory days in my early factory gaming days. Uh, we're now I've only got three buttons on the side, but. We have now got this blend being created, and I want to put this into storage. So we're just going to do like we normally do. We're going to grab ourselves uh, storage, and we're going to put this four blocks away from uh, the machine. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, and we're going to place that right there. And then we're going to make a two space gap and put one there, and same for here, like that, and same for there. And then, I'm going to need to handcraft some more loaders. Let's get a couple more long inserters as well. And whilst we have that going, we're going to put down uh, you. So we want you to be an output. So we can put one there, put one there. Come on, can you handcraft these faster, please? Oh, it's because I don't have any electronic components on me. So right now, it's currently making machine parts, wires, and electronic components before it makes the inserters. Where technically, I should just quickly go over there and grab some. But like I said, I do want to create like a central storage at some point and have like a minimum amount of items in my inventory at once to, uh, you know, speed up the process of some of this handcrafting. Uh, but again, let's make that an output. Change it to input. Uh, I'm going to combine you there, you there, you there, and you there. Put, uh, it is outputting how much per minute? 20. Okay, so we can we can use a Mark 1. And then we're just going to get these to go into here. This doesn't need to go into here, but as you know, I'll, I do like to have a buffer for everything. Um, and then from here, we want to look at the assemblers, right? Because to make steel, um, we need a advanced smelter. Uh, a smelter. Okay, so now we need to put down... Uh, what's the recipe for this? I wish we could see without putting down a smelter um, what it will be. I feel like what I should do is just grab a couple of you. Oh my god, I'm pressing keys. I shouldn't be pressing. There we go. Uh, wait, what am I trying to do here? I'm, am I trying to put... Does this not go in here? Hold on a minute. Does it go into an assembler? Surely not, right? No, it doesn't. All right, let me just quickly put this down. Let me just let me just do this because right now I'm I'm going bloody mental. Let me just oh why are you going over there again? I feel like there's a weird thing going on with that, you know. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Bada bing, bada bosh. Make you an output. Are you gonna make steel? No, that's empty. Oh, it's because I. <laughs> let me just do that. There we go. Steel. Okay, so we are making steel. Right, so we do need to obviously upgrade this belt back here to a Mark II, which we're currently on forty six percent. Um. But okay, so we need to do this, and that needs 10 per minute. And this is outputting 20 per minute, which means I it is a 2 to 1 ratio. So one crusher goes into two assemble. Oh, I should have moved this over by one. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get all of this here, and I'm going to move it over by one block. Because then this will allow me to have this smelter here. That storage can then go into that four block there, where we can have the inserter and, uh, sorry, output and input here output input into this smelter and we should be able to have eight smelters in a line right here but then i can put all of these down correctly all right so that is exactly what i went and did i've now added eight smelters here i've then got the storage going into two machines so we have one input which is 20 per minute each of these are going to be 10 going into each of these smelters. Right now, these aren't running because we're still waiting for the Mark II, which if you look now in the top right, it is 97%. We have the smelters, uh, the crushers, sorry, moving away. But I've also added a bit more of a walkway around here now, and I've put some railings down in between these. But there we go. Bob is your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. 
and then we can have a look at these Mark II belts and what they require to actually be uh, created. And then we'll see, you know, how easy it is to currently replace Mark I belts. All right, so research has been done, but I want to quickly remove this. If we actually right click on the landing location, we can click remove on that and get rid of that. We don't actually need this because if you would have seen my tips and tricks video, you will know by if by looking up in the top left hand corner, our spawn location is actually set to zero zero. So this right this spot right here is where I spawned when I first launched this save, uh, and your height will vary. Well, uh, some people have been asking for the seed. If you do want the seed for this game, it's up in the top left hand corner. It is that uh, the longish number, which is seven 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 zero seven. 9097 so some people said you know you've got a better seed i kind of like where you are and i want to play along well there you go uh, i did mention that in episode one but we do have mark ii belts unlocked now and to produce these we need conveyor mark ones we need machinery parts and we need electronic components so we can grab a few of these actually let's um let's make a few of them uh let's get a couple of the ramps as well because obviously we're going to need a few of these uh i could just right click on them let's get a couple of these uh, and then we've got a couple of them i want to, i do want to bring um you into here with mark ones uh where's the lifts where's this the oh this those are being yeah they, they, they'll get done in a bit uh let's add them into there and then foundations bada bing bada bosh okay cool um so let's run along here and let's see what we can do so let's bring out the mark one uh, mark two sorry we can look at the belts, and it does say, click to replace conveyor lines, belts 40, slope 0. We're currently missing 24 belts, which will upgrade as much as possible without creating gaps. Cool. Uh, we can hold left control, only upgrade targeted belt, or hold alt to disable building uh, replacement mod. So if we hold alt, we can actually build on top of the actual belt. Um, so we're currently waiting on this to be done. We're currently missing 16 belts. So I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes when we've got some of these belts uh, in my inventory. Okay, so we click that. We have now upgraded this whole entire section to actually mark two. We don't need to do this one because these are only requiring 40, 80, 120, 160, which is enough for a mark one belt. And then it's this one that needs the 320 because, you know, 80, 160, double, 160 times two is 320. So we should now be good here. But what I want to do next is I want to kind of put down all of these into a storage. So I'm thinking we just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should have made them all outputs before I did that. It's, it's a little habit I've got right now. I should really, you know, when I've got these in my hand, I should right click and make sure I've got to output. Otherwise, I'm going to go into each and every single one of these to start making and toggle them to an output. I could save myself a lot of trouble. And then I want to do a storage. Uh, I keep going over here to build, and I accidentally build some instead of coming over here. Um, so we're going to want to build a storage, which we will do right here. And then we are going to bring them all down. So let's get uh, you to come along here like this. We're going to rotate you there, rotate you there, bring you all the way along here, put you on an input here like so and then we're going to put an output here uh, that's an input that's an output and then this can lead to any future places where it might need to go so let's get some railings and we can connect these up oh that's t railings um i only found out this as well um a few hours ago is you can actually right click the railings and you'll change the corners and all this kind of stuff so we can put that along there change to a corner then i'll come over here get this one and then change this to a t-ship like so and now we have railings and then uh, we do need to now look into the next recipe which is advanced machinery parts so two machinery parts equals steel beams and as we know we do actually have machinery parts right here so i'm thinking we remove this rock create a little area here a little bit of a walkway to come over to this section where we can then look at getting the machinery parts to come here with the steel beams to make advanced machinery parts yeah and then we should be good with that i think because we can just grab this make a little hole make a little tunnel and then 
Put it, send it over this way. Okay, so I've got this little area set up right now. And as you can tell, I've now got the steel beams kind of coming through a little underground tunnel here from over here. Um, and this now meets the machinery parts, which we've got coming down a little bit of a ramp here also. Um, but what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to just fill this out uh, a little bit here. And then um, I kind of want like a little walkway to come down with some stairs into this location to kind of enter this little you know compartment here but i've got these coming in here which then need to go into an assembler but i have got the assembler mark twos which i've got currently six here so we have got the assembly mark twos being researched now i'm currently researching the character crafting speed uh also so we're gonna put down you here you here and you here like this uh and then if we come into here we can actually see we want to make the machinery parts. So we have the machinery parts coming in at 40 per minute and the steel beams at 20 per minute. And as we know, all of these smelters do give us 10 steel beams per minute. We have eight in total. So quick maths, we're making 80 steel beams per minute. So we're going to do the same for this one. Wait, I should really copy it. Shift right, shift right click. Oh, I need to pull up the this, don't I? Shift right click, shift left click, shift left click. Okay, cool beans. So now that we've got this going, we then need to put this into storage here. So we are going to output all of these um, into you, into you, and into you. And then we're just going to put this down like so. But then I don't know why I've done it this way. Maybe I'll change it. Who knows? And then we'll put down... Where am I going again? I've right-clicked that out of there. No, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? That in... That in there. Ugh. Eh. I, I, I don't... I, ignore me. I'm allowed. So now we've got the advanced machinery parts. Beautiful. So that's then going to go into the storage. But in regards to this here, I want to make this a little bit of a walkway. So we can kind of put you down, let's say, here. Do I kind of want to overlap it there? Or do I want to... I don't know. Put it there like this, maybe, so we can still see the, the beams. And then say so we'll make the stairs set here. We do want to make it four in length. The reason I say that is because the railings do take up one, one, uh, one section as well. So we put that along there like that. We can actually remove this. So click the bada bing bada. Oh, no, 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 no. There. I always like to raise it when I go to do like a mass delete. Because when you do it like this, and I want that, sometimes if you actually don't realize you can't tell if you're deleting under it so if you look at the sun right now you can see where it says height one sometimes if i'm lower you can't visually see in game that i'm you know dismantling lower so i'm going to actually dismantle these belts the foundations so i always take it up just so i know i'm not deleting anything under it and then removing it that way you know what i mean um, it is a little bit of a pain and i i have asked the developers to see if they'll add a lock button so we don't have to do it that way uh, and hopefully they'll uh, take that in. Uh, the only feature they, they have added that I highly requested during the, the month early access um, when we had the game before release, uh, which they added literally the day after, after they asked me about it, was like, was there a reason you wanted this in game? I says, yeah, because one, it's, it's absurdly loud. And that's, if you go into settings and go into audio, the footset sound effects. Originally, this slider was not here. Um, until I asked them to change it. And it would have been like this all the time. And that is extremely loud. And then during the early access, uh, there was, you know, I, I was like, can you please add a slider for this? So I'm trying to record and everything, but it's like, so, uh, like really, really loud. And it was like, sure, a day later, they tagged me and there's like bits, we've added it for you. Um, thanks for your feedback. So you're welcome guys. So <laughs> I've done my part to this game. Uh, and we've now got a footstep slider. So, devs, if you watch this, I appreciate it again for adding that. It makes my mind not go as insane. Um, right. So, let's add you, you. I'm just wondering if to get the stirs here, like that. And then I can put, I guess I can put railings here. There's no form of diagonal railings or anything or all that kind of stuff. But we can now head up here and into this section. Um, I could really just take that straight across there, to be honest, if I wanted to walk the cup this way, maybe. Uh, I might do that. Take this along here and just add some stairs here. Uh, but I don't want to get too much into the, the decorational side. But again, we have the machinery parts being done. 
Uh, everything's being produced here. I don't want to, you know, all, uh, like consume all the machinery parts in the steel beams. I do want it to kind of back up because I have a feeling we might need to handcraft some in the future for some other items. Uh, and I do want to kind of see uh, and prioritize what items we do kind of need the most of. Um, so when we do come down to building like the mega factories and Titan factories later down the uh, series, like, okay, I need, I know for a fact, I need more plates and I need more rods. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, that's that's the feeling I'm getting right now. I need to I need to know what items are the vital core components of stuff. So I know if to build eight belts of this and only two belts of this to expand this large factory. But the next plan I want to look at is this little mountain right here. Because I want to look into this because in the future we can build elevators that can go down into the mines. And as we know from the previous episode, we need Force 1 to actually go past height level 70 to 75-ish. Uh, and obviously, I need to unlock that. So if I look into my research tree, we are getting pretty close. We are going to need green science for it, though. Um, where is it? Where is it? I always keep forgetting where it looks like. It, it's, it's, it's that one. There it is. So we do need green science for that. But I do want to kind of preemptively kind of start working on this because it's going to take a little bit of time. So I thought, you know what? Let's look into researching the explosives. So that's what I'm going to do as soon as the character crafting speed is done. Okay, so as you can tell, I've currently got the explosives being crafted right now. So I'm currently making a explosive primitive recipe, which is Ignium or Rubble and Technum or Rubble with Biomass. So we do need Biomass for these explosives. And then we go into Handhelds. I can then make explosive charges and I can make a detonator. So right now we've got 135, 34 being built. So I'm going to get loads of these being made after this because right now I've been handcrafting away at this mountain and you can tell it doesn't look very natural-esque. And the reason I say that, we have flat kind of uh, surfaces here uh, and it's just very square and blocky and I kind of don't want that. I want the kind of, it's a lot more of a natural cave and it looks, it looks like it was already there uh, and not man-made like this. So what I need to do now is just wait for the explosives and get ready to start blowing up this mountain. So I kind of placed a few explosives, as you can tell. Um, I don't know how many precisely, but I've also got now a detonator. <laughs> and now I have explosives. So, oh my God, that was pretty nutty. Now the cave is definitely a lot bigger and it looks a little bit more natural. It's still not as natural as I like and we are going to take this further into this way. I do need to now make some more explosive. Do I need more? I do need more biomass and everything. Oh my God, I've got so much I've got to do with these. But we now have explosives because explosives go boom, boom. <laughs> so we place, we place, we place more. We more, more bombs, more boom booms. We place many, 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 many explosives. But also, if you've not watched the tips and tricks video, let me just blow these up. Boom. If you've not seen the tips and tricks video, the explosives actually have a nine by nine severical grid. What I mean by that is if we place down explosives here, boom, blow that up. Uh, we can see it makes a little bit of a nice little symmetrical hole. And if we go from one side to another, that's nine. And then obviously we go from here, that's nine. And then if we go from here to the ground level, uh, I want to go there. That is uh, four. So it's not by nine by nine. It's nine wide, but eight up. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means it'll go up to here and then nine wide. So it's, uh, yeah. Okay. Ignore what I initially said. I, I know what I, I, I said. I meant originally. But we need to make this a bit better. But I've also found out as well is with explosives, explosives do damage your own structures. So take that into consideration when building. And also, they don't destroy the natural ores. So the ores stay fine, but everything around it gets demolished. So you can't accidentally remove ores, just in case you're worried. Right, 
So the next thing I've been doing is I've been running around. I've been looking at some... Uh, Okay, so I've just come back from a little adventure. As you can probably tell right now, I'm currently researching glass production. Uh, that is because I've got a little bit of research done. I've got some concrete now being made. Well, not being made, but we've got concrete being uh, researched. We've got gravel. We've got cement now. We've also got some new machines, like the casting machine and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and that can go into glass because I've been looking into the biomass to see if we can automate it and it does look like we can so if I pull up this we can see glass production goes into greenhouse and the greenhouse allows to farm plants and tree seeds by using greenhouses so with the greenhouse I'm gonna presume we'll look with biomass farming here unlocks automated biomass farming and a decorative wooden block Note that biomass farming is energy inefficient and costs more power than it yields. So wooden blocks and biomass. So it's going to be a place for us to automate biomass into explosives. Because I don't want to keep hand making explosives. I'd rather have a chest so I can go up to them and grab them and then explore another mountain. Um, so I've been kind of exploring and I've come across some um, ores. One's right here which is a unknown resource which i do believe is concrete uh but i don't want to look too much into that just yet what's that one that's igneum and there's another unknown here so i've been running around i've just kind of been scanning all this kind of stuff but i want to take you over to the cave because i've done something as you can tell uh i've got the wall lights and everything like that now but i've kind of done this done like a little bit of structures in here i don't know if like, this is going to stay but i just wanted to kind of show you guys and then eventually maybe we'll make a tunnel down here that leads to an elevator shaft that goes takes us down or something and then we can have some other lifts up here with belts coming out and i, I don't know just yet but here's a kind of little feel that i've kind of gone for and you must be wondering how i've got power over here well the power is actually hidden under the ground so if I just remove some blocks here, you can actually see I've made like a, you could say like cable, underground cable system, but with the foundations. And that leads all the way up here and just attaches to these foundations here. So it's not visibly noticeable by just leaving, you know, a line of foundations here and a line of foundations there. It's, I've actually buried it under the ground, then used, you know, the dirt and everything again and just placed it down to cover it sort of thing and that's basically what i've done with that so hopefully you all enjoyed this video where next time we're going to look at doing concrete and glass and maybe greenhouses and all this kind of stuff but make sure to check out my other content right here and check out the vod channel if you're interested in seeing some past live streams when i do the live streams which will be in the next couple of days when my arm feels a little bit better but anyway much love keep smiling and i'll see you in another video